What's up, guys? This is Nick from Hybrid Physiques, making a quick response to Cedric McMillan's most recent Instagram post. And I quote, to whom it may concern, I, Cedric McMillan, post this video as digital verification that I do look halfway decent before this show Sunday, just in case my body goes to blank, as it usually does when the anxiety kicks in. Furthermore, I might drink some alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain from my point of view, and it actually helped me out a little bit too, why he posted this video, because in Cedric's competition history, if we look at his Arnold Classics, if we look at his Olympias, he's never really brought the tight, tight, tight in shape condition. He always always holds water. He always looks like he is a little flat. Maybe he has a little fat on him. This video gives a little clarification and that his statement is true. I think anxiety gets the best of him. Therefore, his stress levels rise. And by that, just to dive a little deeper, his cortisol levels rise. Therefore, his body holds water. Now, <clears throat> before this video, I always thought, and I, I'm guessing the general public thought as well, why doesn't Cedric just work a little harder? Why doesn't he diet a little harder to get into shape? And I think this video is a response to those critics and response to that kind of feedback. It's, it's hey guys, I do work hard. Hey, a couple days before the show, I do look great. I am in shape. I am tight. It's the mental game where Cedric struggles, and I'm going to level with everyone. The reality is this is the IFBB at the top most level. Cedric is not about making excuses. Again, this is video is kind of just to take a little pressure off his shoulders. Hey, guys, I am lean. I, am, I, I should come in hard. But at this top level, you need all the components. You need the genetic tie-ins. You need the capabilities for mass. You need the mental strength to bring in the conditioning and keep your anxiety and mind out of the game. If you don't have any of the three, you're not AKA Mr. Olympia where Cedric could have been this year. But again, he lacks the mental strength of a Phil Heath, the mental strength of a Dorian Yates. It's not, it's not necessarily a neg. It, it's just the, the cold hard facts. It's the reality. He doesn't have that mental component and he can't control his anxiety to bring in the best Cedric McMillan possible. And my take again is Cedric posted a video like this to display this is not a work ethic issue. I, I believe he wants the people to understand that he's not lazy. He's out there busting his butt. It, he'd rather chalk it up to the mental aspect, which is nevertheless, it's a weakness. But for him, a military man, you know, someone proud of what he can accomplish, it's not a work ethic issue. So he'd, I think he'd rather chalk it up to the mental issues than the physical work ethic. So that is my understanding of why this video was posted. What does the future hold for Cedric McMillan? Let's do this quick comparison. 2016 Arnold Classic, 17 Arnold Classic, 16 through 18 Mr. Olympia, which was his best physique. For me, 2016 Arnold Classic without a doubt. With the runner up being the 2018 Mr. Olympia. And let me, let me tell you why and kind of point this out. I want you to focus the eyes on the glute hamstring tie-in in the 2016 Arnold Classic, 2016 Mr. Olympia, and 2018 Mr. Olympia. Look at the fullness in the 2016 Arnold Classic, a distinct separation with distinct striations in the glutes, really, really tight, deep hamstrings. If you look at the 16 Mr. Olympia, he doesn't have that fullness. He doesn't have that tightness in that glute area. So... Those two photos tell me right off the bat that it's not an age issue. And I bring that up because Cedric is no spring chicken being 42 years old. Does he have the potential to continue to improve in or maintain his current muscle mass and physique? I believe so. I haven't seen any signs of him going backwards as far as muscle mass goes. Another piece of it is if you look at Cedric's Christmas tree, in the 2016 Arnold Classic, 2016 Mr. Olympia, and 2018 Mr. Olympia, you'll notice on the upper right-hand peak of that Christmas tree, in the 18 Olympia and 16 Olympia, you see those wrinkles on his lats. And in the 16 Arnold Classic, you do not see those wrinkles. You see a tight, tight skin. That most likely is a carving up issue as far as being able to bring that fullness in. And that's also why we're seeing a much more crisp glute hamstring tie-in in that 16 Arnold Classic. That's why for me, it is the best physique. So overall, can Cedric still bring in that 2016 Arnold Classic package? I do believe so. I think he needs to be able to control his cortisol levels. I think he needs to come in really, really full like in the 16 Arnold Classic. And I think he will probably bring one of his best packages yet. It is a complicated matter, this, this sport of bodybuilding. And it's extremely complicated the last week before a show goes. You need to 
take all of these items in consideration to bring in your best package. And I do believe he is working on that. I'm kind of excited to see this next show coming up on Sunday to see what he brings and if he's able to bring it all together and control his emotions, control his mindset, and give us the best subject that we've been asking for. That is my video for today. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Throw in some comments in the comment section below. And that is Hybrid Physiques out.